Dungeon Crawlers. Woohoo! Hey, little bit of love into the sister card here. Hopefully, you're having a great day. I'm having a great day. We're back today in something very, well, I wouldn't say unique, but something different. So, uh, I like playing dungeon crawler games. And I've played several that have been out on Roblox. And I've done content on several of them as well. But I kind of wanted to show y'all my top 10 dungeon crawler games that are currently on Roblox. Now, let's do the normal video intro stuff and I'll kind of explain how this is going to go. If you haven't already, please make sure you smash, smash, smash the love like button and do the same thing with the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. So what defines a dungeon crawler? So uh, how I'm going to be defining this is, is basically you go into a lobby, there's a hub area, you hit play, and you create basically a dungeon that you and your group run into. So this will include party systems on some of these. And uh, I, I know there's probably a few more dungeon crawlers out there, but these are kind of the top of the top. I know these ones at one point in time have been popular or currently are popular. So let's get on into that list. It will be in no particular order, just FYI. It's just kind of going to be is how I get into them. And I like Blade Quest, just like just how I look. So this is how I wanted to do my intro. So actually, our first one is going to be Blade Quest. So if you have not played Blade Quest, it basically is a quest of the blades. No, uh, <laughs> basically, you have weapons that you use. You have a support spell and there's tons of different support spells, including healing. You now can get coin boost in order to increase your damage. Uh, stealing life and that's a support spell and then there's tons of different damage spells uh, my favorite is a uh, laser beam because <laughs> so and they have a bunch of different leaderboards they actually have the ability to afk which is actually super super nice and they have tons of different dungeons and they actually have one that supports an endless mode so I really think that is really awesome and if you ever get a chance or are looking for something new I would always recommend this game because it does have a longevity as far as like having stuff you can grind and stuff you can look for. And uh, I mean, who who doesn't like having mythics? So. <laughs> There's also other things in the game like an enchanting system. And you know, we have 25 plus lobby over there. So uh, we're going to go on to the next one though because we got a lot to cover. The next one we're going to go over is actually Zombie Strike. So if you have never played Zombie Strike, it is... It's, 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 it's basically zombies and guns. It's, it's amazing. And there's pets and grenades and hats. Who doesn't like hats? <laughs> they have a massive inventory system where you get everything from unique hats, which this hub has actually changed since the last time I've played this. You get different armor that actually changes how you look. You get different weapons, which, oh, I got a brand new one. That one's nice. You also actually have a ton of different pets that uh, increase your luck, fire rate, the amount of damage you do. Excuse me. They have a multitude of different types of areas you can go into and different maps. Each of the maps is very different and very unique. And uh, I, I, I like shooting the zombies. They go to pew to pew. They also have different power ups like tank buff. And pretty much, if you get going well enough, uh, you don't have to stop moving, ever. It just just keep firing. Just go to pews to the pews. With many different zombie types, and this game was always fun to play, especially when it first came out. It looks like they've added a few new things since I have played it last, so I may have to go check it out again. And each of the bosses was always unique in the attacks that they did, and the different things. Giga Zombie! <laughs> And they've added in new systems where you can actually get some really nice weapons. Oh, that is sweet. Oh, okay. And again, with a wide variety of game modes like regular missions, we have arena. And they have simple boss battles, which are actually really, really cool. And you earn them to get different things, to get brains. Because brains, in order to get cosmetics, things like that. So I think that's really cool. It's been a hot minute since Sisters played this game. I didn't know that they had dual wield. So I'm now super excited for this. <laughs> but guys, let's go on to the next game. The next one we have up, guys, is Galaxy Quest. So, so this game came out very shortly after the next entry on our list, which is Dungeon Quest. And basically, it's Dungeon Quest, but in space and with guns and 
you have a ton of abilities you have main like you have a ton of abilities like you can equip self heal electric boost which gives you a little speedy boost you have flame blades which basically spin around you in a circle uh more self heal you can't actually equip the same one in this which i think is interesting so we have different melee weapons like uh apparently I have a jet magus not really sure what that is i i don't remember what half of this stuff is i got armor they have basically a whole material system where you get blueprints and you actually craft stuff from the blueprints in order to get armor and such. So I think this is actually really, really cool. And I was always super, super like excited to play this back in its heyday. They have a ton of shop stuff in the shop. You can get materials. You can buy different stuff like commander strikes. Like that looks awesome. That looks totally awesome. This game always looked so, so good. You can uh, do a bunch of different missions as well. So we're going to go ahead and get easy. So they have different things like elimination, survival, defense. We have sentry. We have colony. We have luma miner. The banana joined. So I'll just run y'all through a cool like, little one. This game has a ton of different maps and a ton of different modes that you can go into. And it's always, always super fun. I, I loved this game during its heyday, and unfortunately, there's not that many people left that play it. So they have things like this is this is nuts. This is nuts. Just look at all that. Look at the damage. They do have like a little mini map in the bottom corner, which is actually super super nice. Forgot you have the big smashy smashy. I forgot about the hammer. I always used to love playing with the hammer. And it's always, oh, this game is so much fun. I would love to see some of the mechanics that they have in this game brought into some of the more modern dungeon crawlers. I think it would be a lot of fun, especially having the multiple items or having the ability to like craft armor, stuff like that. But guys, I think it's time. And I think my hammer agrees. It's on to the next game. So next up on our list is Dungeon Quest, the OG of them all. So Dungeon Quest itself has changed so much. Uh, Sister stopped playing around, again, I'm level 122. I used to be level 100 when everyone else was level 90. So I played this game for a super long time, but they have added things like the Excalibur Sword, lighting up the different crystals. The baseline of the game is getting equipment, you upgrade it, you have kind of different classes. You have, of course, the Guardian, the tanks, you have the mages and you have the fighters. They all do different stuff. They also have included boss raids. This is not something that I haven't got into. One, because I'm not high enough. And two, I just I stopped playing the game at that point. We also have the leaderboard with Mr. Oxidian, Twitch TV. Which, guys, you should go check him out. Uh, he, uh, yeah. 211. Wow. They always had a bunch of different interesting cosmetics that they would come out with. So, I that that's Link. Why, why is Link here? Why is Link here? But you could always get different cosmetics, armors... And you can always get titles from doing different types of runs. So there was always, you had the regular runs and you could also switch over and do wave defense, which allowed you basically to earn titles. They also had, apparently their Easter event is still out. So the Egg Island, the Aquatic Temple. I think the Aquatic Temple is the newer one. I haven't actually played that one. I have seen it. It actually looks pretty nice though. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. David's over here flexing on me. David, why are you flexing on me? Why you bully me? And uh, I will say, having watched the lobby transform, this this is a really pretty game. So this is the OG dungeon crawler. I will say that this game is more strongly suited to groups. Like, you have to have a group of people to run. This is not really a solo game. Uh, a lot of the other ones on my list are very much so a solo game. Where is David going? But guys, yes, everyone knows a dungeon quest. So we're going to go ahead and rock on over to our next on the list. Next on our lovely list is a game called Squadron. So if you don't know what Squadron is, uh, basically it's, uh, I would say it's actually a blade quest, but with guns and armor. <laughs> so it is very similar. Again, it is another, another dungeon crawler game. Uh, this is actually made by the same people that have made Blade Quest. So I think it's really cool. They have a bunch of different stuff. We have equipment. You can have like grenades, throwing throwing knives. You can have healing pads. They have different sets of armor, of course. And of course, these have the combining stuff that you have to do. Very similar in Blade Quest if you ever played that. 
and you know different helmets i mean who doesn't want to have a football helmet or what is this what is this i'm an orange with a mouth that's terrifying <laughs> that's terrifying so the controls actually work by where you're pointing is where you're shooting so yeah that's <laughs> another reason i'm switching back over to my legendary and you also have different types of guns and they actually come with different skins on them which i actually think is really nice i kind of really like that as you level up you do get to go to different lobbies and what actually is cool is line of sight does work in this game so which i think that's really interesting example being uh i can i i won't get shoot shot if i stand behind this pillar or out of this guy's line of sight so that's actually really really nice not too too bad up oh, someone's still alive who doth be alive i killed him okay i remember this one it's the first parkour game parkour uh dungeon game i ever experienced i was so mad this game was so much fun i may have to play it again this is yeah, I remember this game being just a lot of fun. And the bosses are super OP, and I love how the bosses would move around the room and do different stuff. And of course, you can go on over here and you actually see what drop you get while you're in the dungeon, so it's actually really nice. And uh, you can't leave until you kill everything, so there is no speed running this. I need you to die. Thank you. And with the option to actually replay, very few dungeon games actually have that option. So if you want to continue to speedrun, you can go back in and do it again. They also had a shop where if you saw a gun that you actually liked, like who, would want, who wouldn't want a squid helmet? You can actually go and buy the different weapons. And there's a bunch of different weapons that do a bunch of different things. On to our next game. The next game on our list is Adventure Up. So I've featured this in other videos before. So the game has a ton of cosmetics. So there's actually a whole shop for it and you can get a wide variety of it. A ton of different gear you can get. You can get gems to enchant things. There's a wide, wide variety of abilities that are here. I mean, you can customize how you want your character to be, whether you want to do all physical damage, whether you want to be a healer for your group, or if you just want, want to rain down the fire, that is magic. <laughs> They also have a ton of professions that you can go to different areas and actually work your way through, such as mining, foraging, and you get the different components in order to make things like potions, different armor, things like that. It is it is a truly expansive game and there is an absolute ton to do. Absolute ton. Like this game is immense and there's even like little obbies in the lobby that you can do. Uh, there's collection stuff down there. There's all kinds of stuff in here. They have two different types of worlds. So we have little exploration worlds where you can go and actually farm for items. There's actually bosses in there that you can get stuff from. And then there's regular dungeons. You can go do dungeons, whatever level you need to be. Whether you need it to be in max or whether you're just starting out for the first time. And you kind of get a different variety of dungeons so that you're not grinding the same stuff, which I actually really, really like about this game. I've covered this before, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next game. The next one on our list is actually Treasure Quest. So, sister, I've been asked to play this game several times, but I have played this game. Y'all don't understand when this game first came out. When this game first came out, I know liked it like crazy. During the first three days, I was top 10 on the leaderboard. And uh, I actually really like this game. I just kind of lost interest in it after grinding so much. And yeah, that's... Never know life a game, because then you won't want to play it. But this game has a lot of different stuff to it. It has a bank. They have different events going on constantly. There's a shop, so if you're looking for certain items. They have potions, one you can buy, and some you actually can get as drops. They actually have the ability for you to combine different weapons and different cosmetics, which I think is cool. You also can get items for collections. You can see how rare some of them are. You actually have quests that you can do to get other items as well. They even have a crafting system where if you get different items, you can actually combine them into even better items or unique items. So I think that's really, really cool. I think I think we should do a dungeon. I think we should do a dungeon. The dungeons are always really unique, and each of the weapons actually has its own set of abilities. So I, I, I actually think that's cool because some do magic, some do a whirlwind. 
and <laughs> many, many different things. And I didn't realize that one of my mods was 207. Jesus. <laughs> the mobs actually come in different types too. There's different types of bosses that do different things. So it's never always the same thing running through because some of them actually drop unique items depending on what the boss is. Some dungeons allow you to have multiple deaths and others don't, not so much. There is different types of items, like I do actually have a second-handed weapon that deal that does a uh, mana attack. And each of the bosses has its own unique mechanics, like that just threw me up in the air. And uh, I just got two really nice weapons. Nice. Nice. Thanks, David. They're probably both going to be really low level, though. <laughs> yep, they both are. They both are very low level. <laughs> There's also a ton of different cosmetics, things like that. So uh, this game can be played very easily solo. I think uh, the only game on this list that cannot be played easily solo was uh, Dungeon Quest. The rest of these are, you can pretty much solo. So if you want to check them out for yourself, you can. Let's go on to the next game. Now the next game on our list is relatively new and it has a relatively steep curve to play. So I'm going to state that in the beginning but where we are at now is we're at wizard conquest so basically it's uh it's a dungeon crawler you have different things like alignments so you start off with two alignments that you pick i have been told that getting uh getting heavenly and piercing is probably the best so if you do play this for the first time that would be my recommendation but how the game works as far as mechanics go is you're able to have a wide variety of gear you can basically have bracelets, you can have hats, and you can enchant them so that they can get better. And uh, I kind of show you all a little bit of the combat because it, it's a little, it's a little fun. Not even gonna lie. So very similar to many of the other games. Uh, if you do run a party, it is a lot easier. However, I will tell y'all aiming in this game is a bit difficult because you actually do have to line up your shots. So it does take some getting used to. So if you are not coordinated human being like sister which is kind of the only reason i don't play this game a whole lot is uh yeah that's kind of that's kind of the big thing is having some coordination so i did have another pleb anti-golden that came on in and is uh being very sweet and kind of helping us through the video because uh uh me trying to talk and play this game at the same time does not happen well i'm just gonna be real honest so i do know a few other content creators have done videos on it so it is a really fun game if you do want to master. There's stuff like crystals, all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, they do have a unique system that if you choose to do basically not the hardcore run, but the run where you can die, is uh, you do actually have the ability to, you'll come back, but you'll have less health. So when you have less health, that means you can't, are more likely to get one-shotted by the boss, which can be a little bit of a Debbie Downer not to be. Not to be too bad, but yeah. So it's not a, it completely easy to run solo because you can get in that infinite loop of being stuck. So, But the game is really fun and really detailed. Really wish I had the time to grind it. Uh, you can actually change your alignment and the bonuses you get, things like that. And I can kind of show you all a little bit of that in the lobby before we head on to the next game. But I also do like the bosses. And... You fight different opponents. They do different things. Some of those opponents were throwing lava on top of us. And some of those opponents were actually doing like wind attacks. So not every single enemy is, you know, the same. Run at player and smash. No. <laughs> Don't know what Golden's doing. But I'm, I'm going to have to admit, as far as like layout, other than Adventure Up, uh, the scenery is super, super pretty and super, super nice. So what I actually do think is cool is one their little intro scenes awesome and two whenever you clear a dungeon even if it's not hardcore you actually get two items i think we actually got a staff yeah i did i got a novice staff as well and i got a brand new spell that doesn't have an alignment though so that's actually interesting but even if you pick something that wasn't your alignment or you do get a different alignment later on the main currency that you get in the game, you actually have the ability to change your alignment. You can change your alignment to where you'll get better bonuses and do extra damage. So that is strictly up to you and you get that by getting those little plasma looking things. So <laughs> They do also have a level leaderboard, which I do know several of the players actually from Blade Quest are over here as well. 
So people like Nate. I uh, recognize a few other names on this list. But guys, we got to go on to the next game. The next game on our list, guys, is Rumble Quest. So Rumble Quest is, again, another one of those games that you can play as a group or you can play solo. You have a wide variety of things. You have weapons. You have abilities. You have different armors you can get for actual multiple spots, which that's actually kind of one of the things I like is this actually has a lot of details that you can get into. And like if you want to go mage, you can go mage. If you don't, you don't have to. We also have cosmetics that really serve no purpose other than being really nice to sell. You can change a ton of your appearance. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. They also have achievements, which I wish more games had achievements like this. This would actually be super, super nice. It allows people to get the more stuff. That is always, always something that is a good thing. So you can get different gems depending on what you have. I don't have enough. I could get a cosmetic. I don't want a cosmetic. I can get a back thing. A minor bundle. I could be a minor. Go to go get my pickaxe. They have a ton. A ton of different dungeons. Like, you can create so many different things. They even have... It's This is bananas. And you can see the rewards. Like, you can see all of the different rewards that you get. So, I really, really like that. So, we're going to go ahead and start this. I'm a pretty, pretty princess. I forgot about that. <laughs> I had this. This one does require less aiming, which I actually kind of like that. I kind of wish more games were like that. That you didn't have to aim as much. Not really a big fan of, you know, having to aim or dodge. So, but you did have different things like skill points that you could get. And you could change your different attributes, which is actually super nice. And they had a mini map. Do you know how many times I've gotten lost in these games or gone the wrong way? Because, yeah, this is, this is nice. Huh, Zalan? Huh? <laughs> and you can have a wide variety of people in your party. Actually, I think this has probably some of the biggest servers, like the biggest capacities for servers. Because I think you can get up to like 15 or some odd people in each of these runs, which other than probably Wizard Conquest that I know you can, if you spend Robux, you can get some pretty big lobbies going. Uh, don't really have that big of like, lobbies you can put people in so i think it's super super nice and the bosses in this are absolute beast except i have david here so he just annihilates it <laughs> and they have some of the like amazing stats i love this like damage done healing done i think that's really cool i think more games should have that but guys we're on to the next game last on our list and certainly not least is probably one of my favorite games and a big staple on the channel is world zero so world zero of course we have an immense class system so the class system is immense we have anything from mages to archers to paladins to being an undead demon well not undead but kind of you float no one else floats <laughs> to a huge amount of cosmetics whether it be past or new there's actually a trading market for cosmetics hmm they actually have a PvP arena if you want to invest in that. And immense amount of armors and weapons and perks literally out the nose. Whether you want to be completely OP and, you know, have all the best perks or whether you want to have stuff that, you know, is bonus pet food chance. Which, by the way, that's a bad perk if you never played the game. To the best mounts in the game. <laughs> A huge bank system, a immense amount of dungeons to do. Like literally you can do most of these dungeons and then they have a harder version of the dungeon, which I actually really like. World bosses, they have quests, tons of stuff to do so you can get rewards, whether it be equipment or whether it be for the battle pass that is currently out. They have a huge cash shop, so if you want to customize your character, they have a ton of different options. And every day there is a different set of colors for all of those cosmetics. And two large dungeons to accommodate up to 12 players. And sometimes 15 depending on if you can break the game or not. So <laughs> guys, thank you for making it to this part of the video. Hopefully, hopefully this was informative. Hopefully if you didn't know some of these games were out there, now you do know. And uh, let me know in the comments down below if you know of any other dungeon crawlers similar to this. Because uh, I'd be interested to know because these were these were kind of the ones we were like scratching our heads trying to think about what were dungeon crawlers. So they do actually have to have a dungeon for you to basically leave the main hub in. So that's kind of a core requirement. 
Thank you guys for making this part of the video. I greatly appreciate it. My end of video crew, you're the bomb.com, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye! Before we go, guys, I want to give a big shout out to my lovely knights of the YouTube channel. I greatly appreciate all y'all's support. Y'all are amazing. And a big shout out to my emerald knights. Thank you so much for the love and support. See y'all next time.